Welcome back everyone to another episode. So today is going to be a really, really cool episode. I've been invited to come down to Forest Flying here in Finchatton. We're going to be ziplining through the trees. This is going to be a really good episode, guys. These bats are really, really noisy. So, where is Forest Flying in Finchatton now? It's on the way to the Finchatton Gorge. There's heaps of signage. It's real easy to find. As long as you know your way to Finchatton Gorge, I will leave a link to a GPS coordinate to where you get to, um, but there's heaps of signage. It's a real easy place to get to, and this is gonna be a real, real fun thing for the family to do. You do have to book ahead of schedule. I'll also leave the link to their website in the description below, guys. Um, yeah, let's get into it. This is gonna be a real good day. I've got a really good feeling about this one. Righto, this is the long one we're going on. I think this is going to be the funnest one. <laughs> September and right through October they're having the pups so quite often oh, yeah. here we actually watch them being born. That was a really good ride that one. Definitely. Really good. You could definitely get some speed up on that one. Keep hold of Mm-hmm. Come on there. See down there? Top mm -hmm. of heart shape leaves. <laughs> Definitely not getting my GoPro if it goes down there. It's it's stuck there for good. A lot of that came up after the bushfire three years ago. Yep. It got that hot and dry, everything here just shriveled. You can see the forest floor all the way down to the creek. These two trees lost all the leaves. I thought it was going to lose them at one point. But when it started raining, all the stinging trees started coming up. Now oh, that bat has huge up. wings. They got, they got big wings, man, don't they? One metre wingspan. Wow. There's so many bats in the trees of all these canopies here, it's crazy. Very loud though. <laughs> it quietens off in winter, so usually yep. around the end of May they all leave. Yep. It goes really quiet in June and July. We might have a few hundred coming and going, but most of them don't come back from August. And then the numbers gradually increase. It depends. Cyclones along the coast, like Cyclone Yazi, going back about 11, 11, 12 years ago now. We had over half a million blind foxes here. I think every fruit back from here to Cairns came in. Wow. And for a while we had some spectacle here. They're usually up in the dame tree. And there are a few around with white patches, which I'm certain are a cross between a black and a spectacle. We actually saw them in here mating. Got some good shots of it as well. Of the edibles, this one is a cherry tree. Mm -hmm. They're really tangy and sour apple tasting. And the palms, palm heart. Now that one, ideal for picking. See the bulbous part? Mm -hmm. The seed pods in there. If you was to chop that down now, right through the centre, which is the bottom of the young leaves, mm -hmm. there's a long stalk, which is a bit like the stalk of a cabbage. I quite like them, put it in stews, curries. Mm -hmm. but the seed pods, 
you can split them up and it's really stringy just add your salad dressing or chop it up and boil it up and use it like rice mm. there's quite a lot in one of them that size i planted hundreds all around my house and they're like this now i'm going to take them out so it's going to take us a couple of years to eat our way through them The last Ooh. one down to the finish is actually the easiest. Yeah. If you stop anywhere on this one, it will start again easily. Mm -hmm. I do recommend going slowly through the palms. Yes. A couple of palms you can literally brush your shoulder against. Mm -hmm. You want to do it quickly. And the back just settled there. When you get close, it's probably going to take off. Hopefully, it'll go that way. Sometimes they'll fly in front of you. Just give them a chance to always try and get out your way. Sit down, get yourself comfy. Slowly through the palms. Okay. It's all ready. Well. Oh. <laughs> another episode good audio now this is a major apology to Donna and Dave now we filmed an interview for forest flying uh, to introduce them and give you guys some more information about forest flying I messed up and it's nothing to do with them it's all on me now when I said important audio now Audio is important for what I do, so you guys get to hear me clearly and talk clearly and get the right information, especially what I'm doing right now. You guys need to know the information. So, what I'm going to do is give you guys the information better. What happened was, I'm going to be honest, like everyone stuffs up, okay? Audio is something that I try my best, but sometimes I fail at it. Um, you get caught in the moment and all that sort of business. But what happened was the background noise overtook our interview and um, it kind of messed up everything that we were talking about. You could hear us, but you could hear the birds and the bats chirping more than what you could hear us talking. So I should have lab mic'd them up. That's what I'm doing now. You can't really see it, but I have a lab mic on now. So the audio is nice, crisp and clear for you to hear. And like I said in the video, about camera gear guys audio is very important especially for what i do you guys need to be able to hear me clearly so i'm just going to give you the information what what you need to know about forest flying guys to book i'm going to leave the link in the description to the website and facebook it is the best way to contact them because there is no reception out there there is absolutely none um so what you need to understand is with that there's going to be a little bit of delay in uh, them getting back to you but if you're booking for something on the weekend go email them on Monday you know give yourself that time so they can book for you now they do two groups a day now by saying groups the groups are mainly one family or if you're gonna do one family it's one family goes first through the course and then the second one comes in like it's it's very very it's a very very small uh, company or well, it's a family business it's just Donna and Dave doing what they do so group of four you can do larger groups but you've got to understand only a certain amount of people can be on the cable system at the time which brings me to my next point weight limit now this is not to be rude to anyone there is a hundred and twenty kilo weight limit now that is just to be safe for everyone uh, that is for their cables that is their weight uh, they have a counterweight to counterweight the balance of everyone that's on the cable. That's why you can only have a certain group 
at one time going through the cable course. Um, there is no age limit, as long as you can hold on, you'll be sweet. So, but there is a young age limit. I think it's about eight or, eight or, eight or 10. Uh, obviously they've got to be competent in holding on because that last, that last, um, the last zip line, it is 250 meters of pure speed if you do not know how to stop. But in saying all that, it is such a great experience. There's such a small company, or I should say, there's just a small business here in Mackay offering a great service. So this is where everything comes full circle, guys. You gotta get out there and support these small businesses, even myself. I have merch if you would like to jump on my website and order yourself some merch. Um, guys, don't bring anything that you can drop. Now, obviously, obviously I took the risk of bringing my GoPros and drones and all that sort of stuff. That was a risk I was willing to take. They told me that they are not liable for anything that happens. They tell you at the start, don't bring anything in your pockets that you're willing to lose because you could lose them. So, there's that, and guys, it is an awesome experience. It's definitely, we're lucky to have these little tourism businesses, but they will not survive unless we get out there and support them. So, link in the description, book yourself a little tour, and while you're there, go somewhere else in the valley. <laughs> like, don't just stop there. Like, this is video about forest flying, but guys, this, what I'm doing is supporting Mackay. This is what's so important, and I think people need to understand it. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to support my hometown and try and build it up and do some good for the community. So, like and subscribe. Link in the description. Book yourself a tour. Days off out.